Good afternoon, folks. We're back at the Wild Studio, and we're going to do a couple of numbers today with my friends sitting next to me. Just want to say a quick hello to everybody and remind you, this is not the end of everything. It's just a moment in time. Normality of some sort will resume pretty quickly. For the moment, we're putting together these short video clips of artists doing something sort of casual, a couple of numbers, something old and something new. Today with me, I have this young gentleman. His name is Bebo. Hello, Bebo. Hello, Mr. Kennedy. Could you explain to everybody where the name Bebo comes from? <sighs> Legend has it, when I was born, I was a big baby, huge baby. So in Spanish, a bebe is a baby. Bebito is a little baby. Bebote is a big baby. So for short, uh, Bebo. One of my aunts walked in and saw me and said, that's not a Bebito, that's a Bebote. And since I was born, my unofficial birth name, Bebo, which also means to drink, which is ironic. So it's big baby to drink. That was, it was doomed from the start. Okay. Personally, uh, I prefer Boo Boo. Mm -hmm. So um, that's my pet name. I have, I'm Irish, so I have pet names for everybody. But this is Boo Boo to me or Bebo to you guys. So today Bebo's <laughs> going to do a couple of numbers first, yeah? Yes, uh, yeah. But right. first we'll talk about it. Bebo, uh, you're normally a barber, yeah? Yes, yeah. Been, uh, been working as a barber for the past four years. Uh, also between bartending and barbering. Shifted my profession or my, my main career to barbering. The bartending career was great, but I feel like it's a little more healthy and I get to sleep too more. Much booze. Too much booze, too much fun, too much, just too much. And after about eight years of consistently bartending and doing gigs, uh, I actually kind of want to see what it's like to get back to having a morning. I know what it's like to go to sleep at a reasonable hour. Okay. It is a coincidence that on Wild Records, we actually have a lot of barbers. Yeah, a lot. Um, actually, because of that, I feel like I became a barber through Wild Records. Uh, it just seems like that's a place where everybody goes to retire, so I want to start early. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because yeah. we, we have Omar. Yeah, actually, shout out to Omar because of him. Uh, I was doing a pest control gig, and you would see me come in. I was working here in the studio with Reb, uh, cleaning up, making sure the cables were ready to go for the sessions shadowing Omar behind the soundboard and uh, I would come in from work just dirty and all sweaty and tired and I was killing cockroaches and killing rats and, and I was just in the studio getting yelled at by people yeah that was just <laughs> just here boom, in the studio. Boom. yeah uh, yeah I didn't pay well enough so Omar said your gig sucks dude like just come work at the barber shop with me just opened up if you're serious about becoming a barber take it or or not so took the opportunity best decision I decided to make as an adult Came, came in handy when I needed to do another job. And now I'm loving life. It's an easy, easy job that I enjoy. I enjoy talking to people. Uh, a lot of people actually know me from the band. And because of that, it actually brings me clients also. I bring people from the bar. Like, it, it's a good, it's a very good social, social gig. Because I like to do it all and definitely make money. It's one of them. It's good. But I guess with it, being a barber means whenever you need to tour, it's not a problem. No, not at all. Uh, it's I'm fortunate to have a, a cool boss. Shout out to Telegraph Barbershop. Uh, my homie Carlos actually gives me a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity to you know if I need to leave early for a show or I need to have a rehearsal or if I need to use the barbershop to rehearse, he's really open with allowing me to utilize the space because barbers are also musicians. A lot of them like to paint. A lot of them do music. Uh, I'm sorry, they're like rappers or they or acting or actors. Yeah, actually, no. A lot of barbers, most barbers aren't actors. They they're just they realize barbering can actually make you money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Not actors. No, well, it's hard at first, you know. So we touched on it there. You had a tour lined up this year, a European tour. Mm -hmm. When was that, and where was it, and that type of shit? We were uh, we were going to start off in France and then just travel around the north of Europe in June. Uh, Unfortunately, everything was postponed, but we're still we're still going to be traveling out to, I believe we're going to England at the end of the year for the 31st. We have a show with Giselle and Bell and the Good Time Boys and the Two Timers. I'm me. And Mr. <laughs> Kennedy will be there too. He's the, what, what are you doing? Are you burlesque bullshit. performer? Just yeah. bullshitting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very good at bullshit. Yeah, typical. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you got, okay, later in the year in England. You yeah. Something in Germany as well. So, so we'll be there. Uh, nothing in Germany. Uh but I got canceled. One yeah, day. It, 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 yeah, it was it was let go. So uh, no gigs in Germany. It was that one gig, and we we, sh we were going to be traveling to to Simcoe also the Nashville Boogie, uh, but right now you know we're, we still have time to do those events, 
and I think we're still going to be on board for those. All right, good. So maybe we'll we'll jump into a song now. Yeah, let's do it. Do you know what you're going to do first? Yeah, uh, this song is actually titled after our second release here on Wild Records. It's uh, the Good Time Blues, and it's a song I wrote when I was living at my mom's house. Uh, I would sit on the porch and just like my it was really open. My neighbors didn't mind me just sitting out there playing guitar, and uh, it's a song about a we, about a man or a woman if you really really love somebody, but you can't keep it in your pants or you can't keep your pants on. So that's what the song's about. Okay, so uh, let's hear it. Let's do it. It's called The Good Time Blues. And this was released on the second album, yeah? Yeah, this is the second album, also titled after the song. Uh, yeah, I think it was released in 2016. And right now we're working on more material, so we'll have some more goodies after this song. All right, so. Well, since you left me, baby, I haven't been alone All the women calling me on my telephone Sincerely speaking, I'd rather be with you But I still have my fun, I got the good time blues I got the good time blues, ooh, ooh, but I ain't got you And I really want you, baby, I got the good time blues the good time blue, the good time blue, but I ain't got you, and I really want you. I'm just a sinner, Reb, I am not a saint, and I always gotta have my way. Wake up, I'm never lonely, but I ain't got you. I got the good time blue, mm -hmm, but I ain't got you. And I really want you, baby. I got the good time blue. The good time blue. The good time blue. But I ain't got you. And I really want you. I love you, Brad, but I won't wait alone. I'm just a dog, and I got to have my bone. But if you may change your mind, please come back. The good time blue. I ain't got you, and I really want you, baby. I got the good time blues, the good time blues, the good time blues. But I really want you, but I ain't got you. It's a hit. It's a hit. We're still working. We're still pushing that song. It's a really old one. It's a good one. So that's 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 from the second uh, album that we recorded here at the studio. The Good Time Blues. Good Time Blues. Uh, to date, we've released two full length records and two forty fives. Yeah. Two forty fives, uh, two full length records. We're also featured on two compilations. We have a Wild Party number two, mm -hmm. and there's another the LP. Th another LP that you release a ten inch. It's a a song from our first album called On a String. But I'm so old, I don't remember what that is. Yeah, me there's, either. There's just no way in the world. We should have done our research before we... We should have. We should <laughs> have we started. Here to refer to. Well, don't we? No, so, Bebo, not. you... Um, I think most people are familiar from looking at our, our CD releases and LP releases. You uh, engineer here with Omar as well. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be doing that. Uh, when I, I remember first coming into the studio, the first times I was blown away because I was already doing what you guys are doing here, but on a much, much smaller, much cheaper scale with like equipment that barely worked. So coming in here and seeing the way you guys were functioning and how it's distributed all over the world and it's really inspiring to me to be like, I want to learn and be able to take this with me and like pick up what I can. And luckily you gave me a chance to come in here and intern or get some free labor. <laughs> it was a free labor. Yeah. Fuck, fuck being an intern. Yeah, so I, didn't, we, I didn't know cleaning a bathroom was part of, you know, interning at a record studio. Well, and don't forget selling oranges on the freeway. It's, or selling oranges. I was already doing that. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's how we make a, a, side, a side living. That's how I pay for my drinking habits. That's good. So Bebo, Bebo works in the studio as an engineer, and uh, he's also one of our session players. Bebo plays upright bass, acoustic guitar, a bit of electric badly. Very badly, yeah. And uh, actually, Bebo is one of our, our, our vocalists that we use for backing vocals, and he's on a lot of stuff. A lot of times, a lot of stuff we record here, unfortunately, either I forget or uh, it gets overlooked on, on a lot of the releases. Hootie, 
session players are. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. We should we should start keeping track. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's too difficult for us. That would be like a business. No, it's just Juan this, Carlos that. That's it. All the same. Yeah. All the same. So um, we have started working on the new stuff for the next release. Yeah, yeah. We uh, the us and the Good Time Boys. We got Noah, Jeff, and Alex. We get together all the time, and we always try to come up with new material after we have a rehearsal. Sometimes we come up with an idea, but that's that idea will grow, and then we have a recording of it, listen to it, and we just keep growing from that. But it takes about maybe about a month to get a song getting getting down. So right now we have maybe half an album, but we're we got a lot of time, so we're recording. I mean, we're writing new stuff. Okay, I mean, a thing that I do want to mention to everybody is that. The, the plan for Wild Records, the beginning of this year, was to predominantly release everything on vinyl. So Bebo will have another f another vinyl release before anything, uh, any, f any full-length record. Um, as most people know, our first release on Wild Records was a vinyl 45. One, one of the few labels that never stopped releasing 45s for the last 19 years, yeah. as crazy as that is. So Bebo's going to do another song, and it's going to be a new one? I will, yeah. This is a new song. It's... It's an old song that I, once again, I, I used to, when I lived with my mom, I used to, like, stay up all night, and I lived next to a river, and I lived next to train tracks, so staying up all night and just being inspired, like, by country sounds, living in El Monte is, like, the city, but it was really quiet, and it felt like I was out in the country, so this other song's written about trains, like, it can also be a reference to other things, drugs and stuff, but mm -hmm. we'll leave that up to whoever's Your listening. imagination. <laughs> whoever's listening. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, I actually... Never performed this in front of like any video or anything. The guys in the band know this song because I won't ever stop playing the guitar lick, but so that's all right, it's not too loud. Good, take it away, big baby. Keeps me up at night Gonna ride that rail Ain't never turning back Raising hell Got no shame Everywhere I go Gonna ride that rail Cause I ain't got a home Yep We should, we should maybe consider recording that one. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if we can get it all done with the guys. Or if not, we'll do it anyway. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Just me and you. So that can was... have you on the back with the oohs and the ahs. And I the... can do the oohs and ahs. I'm good at that. <laughs> I'm very good at it. It's hot. So we should record that. That'll, that'll be a good one. That'd be cool. So, I mean, Bebo has played bass for many, many years. I mean, bass was your predominant instrument. Yeah, coming into the label, actually, I, funny story. I don't, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but... When I initially came to Rev was through an email after realizing that Wild Records was based in Hollywood, and I was I lived down the sh like down the way on the freeway. It's like why don't I join this? Like everybody's Mexican, they all like rockabilly. They get to travel. It's true, we're all Mexican. We're Everybody, Rev's Mexican too. Mexican. Roberto Kennedy. That's me. That's <laughs> uh, so when I sent Rev an email, I was like, I like roots music. I'll maybe I set myself up for this because I told you I would be a roadie. I'd be, I'd do anything just to hang out and be able to like learn stuff and 
it actually, now that I realize it, it actually happened. So I set myself up. I don't know about cleaning your bathroom, but set up for. Well, that's part of the job. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, played with Dustin Chance for about a year. My first show with Wild Records was playing for Dustin Chance and the All Nighters in San Francisco, and Alameda at the. I can't remember the name of the venue, but it's an old venue where they had Jerry Lee's piano. Oh, uh, DeMarco's. DeMarco's. Club. That's the place. It's 23 Club. Which is actually in Brisbane. Brisbane, Brisbane. Brisbane. Oh, Dusty lives in Alameda. In Alameda. It's in Brisbane. Yeah, played there and then played another show at the observatory. And then uh, there were some things with the band, so I got booted out. And I decided just to start my own band. Since I was already recording stuff on my own, the demos that I had saved, showed them to Reb and you... Release the 45. That's the, the first thing we did. Sloppy drunk. Sloppy drunk. Perfect. Just want to love you. The very first 45 went to Australia like a few months after that. And it's history after that. So where else have you been outside of the U.S.? Uh, I've been to Germany, France, Switzerland, uh, the Netherlands, Belgium, of course. Uh, we've been to Australia. Ireland. I, I have yet to be to Ireland or England, so I'm excited oh, wow. to... Okay. Yeah, funny enough, those are the two places we haven't been to. We've frequented Germany in like the northern yeah. area. Uh, Spain? Sp never been to Spain. Oh, wow. Okay. Been yeah. to Luxembourg. Okay, same thing. <laughs> Spain, Luxembourg. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I've been, I mean, fortunate to travel everywhere, and I feel like just the music stuff's going to continue, and we've been getting gigs everywhere. It's just a matter of our reach and talking to people and keep pushing our music out there and pushing the label yeah, it's good. to get to more places. Because most of your band now play also with the two timers, with, with your guitar player Noah. Yeah, sings. yeah. So Noah Martinez actually writes music for the for the Good Time Boys as well. And um, when we first got started with the Good Time Boys, he had another band called the High Tone Boppers, which initially I came in with the Good Time Boys, and pretty much we just made one band, and it was the Good Time Boys. But at, at first they were the High Tone Boppers, so it would have been Bebo and the High Tone Boppers if we would have kept the name. But we switched a couple of the, couple of the musicians around through the years. It's only been one bass. You know, we had Derek Medina, and then now we have Jeff playing bass. But before that, it was actually Popeye, Hobo, and Omar playing guitar. But that was very short lived, maybe like a year or two. Yeah. And then after that, just set up with the Good Time Boys, the current lineup that we have. Uh, Good. Yeah. So later in the year, we're going to do some more European shows. We have Simcoe, which is in Wisconsin. Nashville Boogie, which is obviously in Nashville, and uh, we'll do some more recording. Yeah, yeah. So we will keep, even though things are on sort of lockdown at the moment, the label will keep moving, the band will keep moving, and uh, we'll have a new release. Probably end of this year, we'll have a new release. But yeah, I hope, yeah, we, we're, we're working on it. Yeah. So hopefully we get that ready for everybody. That's good. So we'll do one more, one more song this time on the bass fiddle. On the bass. All right. Okay. Can you handle it? I think so, man. I might need some more of this stuff. Okay, we we'll give you it a shot. You get a good so look. Rev gave me a this much tequila and said, you know. And that that that, that doesn't even wet your lip. No. Um, this Should is I something get up now? We've, we've released. Uh, no, this has never been released or heard. Okay, great. Let's get this out of your way. Thank you, sir. So this song doesn't have a title uh, yet, but I think I'm going to call it I Like It When You Call Me Daddy. Might be a long one, but I think people will enjoy saying that. Well, I love it when you call me daddy, and I love it, oh baby, when you squeeze me. Your body makes me want to buffalo my top. I want to give, give, give everything I got Ha! Your smile makes me want to jump through the roof And your touch makes me want to be the needle in the groove Love the way you move, love the way you shake Want to eat you up, baby, right off that plate Well, I love it when you're coming, daddy And I love it, oh, baby, when you squeeze me Your body makes me want to butt blow my top I want to give, give, give everything I got I have it again. Well, I'll do this one. Well, I love it when you call me daddy. 
and I love it. Oh, baby, when you squeeze me, your body makes me wanna butt blow my top. I wanna give, give, give everything I got. Ha! Your smile makes me wanna jump through the roof, and your touch makes me wanna be the needle in the groove. Love the way you move, love the way you shake. Wanna eat you up, baby, right off that plate. Well, I love it when you call me daddy, and I love it when you call me daddy. Yes, I love it when you call me daddy. You need to give, give, give everything you got. Wow. That was exhausting. Yeah, look at it. You worked in the sweat. It's hot in here, yeah. Uh -huh. But that's uh, the daddy song. Hopefully we get to do that one. Yeah, if you've got fixations on daddies, uh, that song is for you. <laughs> Ladies, I'm looking for one. I'm sort of blown away that Air Bebo is pumping sweat. I don't think you've been playing enough of that bass recently. Huh? It's also been a month. Yeah, it's, yeah. Been a, it's been a good month since I've had my bass with me. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's... I like the song, though. It's good. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, hope uh, you enjoy what you've just watched. Um, it's always great to see my friend Bebo. And uh, usually when we meet, we hug and kiss. But we haven't had a hug or a kiss today. But we'll save them up. Yeah? Uh, I, I did see you without any pants, though. Well. That's very there, true. There are bonuses. If you've been to my house, you know that's the natural state, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do want to say, you know, um, the idea of, of these uh, video clips are to show that, you know, life has not ended. Life keeps moving along. We're positive. You can still see friends and be safe. Uh, think about what you're doing. Think about the distancing. All that other good stuff. But be positive. want to remind you, though, that Wild Records, we exist by you supporting us. I know everybody might be financially strapped at the moment. People, Bebo's not working at the moment, doesn't have much dough. Um, we understand that. But if you have a couple of dollars and you want to buy something new, uh, my wife has spent the last month uploading about 40 CDs uh, for digital downloads. So if you can afford to support us, do support us. Um, remember that music is a way of making you feel good. Thanks yeah. for doing this today, Bevel. It was great. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, keep safe out there and keep it wild.